right, thank you everyone for being here today, uh, an historic day in Minnesota United history, also officially Minnesota Day in Minnesota. Thank you, Governor Tim Walls, for making that proclamation this morning. Uh, as I said, it is a, it's a momentous day, a momentous occasion for all of us here, so thank you guys for joining here in person, and thanks to all those of you on the stream as well. Um, I think uh, it's, it's a beautiful venue to, to host a, an announcement like this. We're all really excited. Uh, I think in terms of player announcements, this is right up there with one of the biggest we've ever had. So I uh, appreciate all of you taking the time to be here today. Uh, as you can see, we've got head coach Adrian Heath here and technical director Mark Watson. In just a moment, we'll bring out the special guest, uh, the reason that you're all here. But before we do, I'll get through some quick housekeeping. Uh, as soon as uh, the special guest arrives out here, we will open it up to Q&A. So for those of you in the media present, I uh, just ask that you identify yourself and the media outlet that you're asking your questions on behalf of. Following the Q&A portion, we'll have uh, a brief opportunity for photos. So any photographers in the house will walk the, the gentleman up front, take some photos with a jersey and a scarf. Um, and I think that gets through all the housekeeping that we need to. So without further ado, we'll play a quick video and then we will bring out the man of the hour. Hello, Minnesota. Now, Mr. Timu Puki. All right, you guys can be seated. Uh, and if you have a question, let myself or Marlene know, and we'll hand you the microphone. We'll get started with Andy Greeter. Andy, go ahead. Uh, Timu, welcome to Minnesota. Uh, obviously, as a, uh, as a player on a free, you had opportunities to go a number of different places, stay in Norwich as well. What was appealing about Minnesota? Yeah, thank you, first of all. Uh, uh, happy to be here. And uh, uh, yeah, obviously, been playing quite long, long in Europe. And uh, I had longer a feeling already that it would be like, uh, nice to experience something else outside of Europe. And then, uh, obviously, when uh, Minnesota came, came up, uh, it's been actually quite, I don't know, say a couple of years ago already when, uh, when first time Robin. Robin told me about that uh, they, they could be interested in me and uh, but yeah, yeah I was thinking thinking that I wanna wanna experience something else and when when this chance came obviously there was some negotiations with the agent and the and the club and uh, in the end this uh, this felt like the the best opportunity for me uh, to 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 come here in the US. Will Hansen from uh, MLS News. Uh, how big of a role did Robin Lud play in your uh, choice to come here? Uh, huge, I would say. Yeah, obviously I've known him many years, uh, uh, and uh, and I think he was the the guy in the middle in the beginning before before anything really happened. Like uh, I was at the club, club spoke spoke with him, and, and and he asked me if I if I could be interested in in coming here and. Uh, and yeah, it was a big part of me as well, uh, the chance to play with him. Of course, I've played with him in a, in national team, uh, but the chance to, to be able to play with him in a, in a club club level as well, as, uh, it was a big part. And sadly, he's injured now, but I uh, can't wait to, to play with him. I always had a cute connection on the pitch and off the pitch with him as well. So, so yeah, big part. Team of Jeff Ruder of The Athletic, Michael Bailey sends his regards. Uh, You've played for a couple of ex-strikers as coaches when you're at Norwich, if you think of Daniel Farka and David Wagner. Um, Adrian, of course, former strikers. So what differences do you see when you have a coach who used to play the position? Does it bring anything different out of your game? Yeah, obviously, they know how, how we as strikers feel on the pitch and what we need to, to achieve what we want to wanna do. And uh, to get out, I think they know what, what to do to get best, best out of strikers, of course. Uh, yeah, had had some good good times with uh, especially with Daniel Fark. It was uh, enjoyed enjoyed play, playing under him, and I've heard good things about Adrian as well. And uh, looking forward uh, what we can we can do together here. No, 
uh, from the Star Tribune. What was most appealing about the culture here with this organization that, um, you know, maybe not even in terms of stuff on the pitch, but in just terms of the people that, you know, really sold you on Minnesota United? I think it's been, the, especially when we came here a couple of weeks ago with my wife, uh, really felt really welcoming. Uh, everyone, everyone has been so kind and uh, it's been easy, easy to work with. That's for sure, sure one thing and I heard loads of good things about how they treat the players and their families so so me as well uh, as a father that's uh, that was a big big thing for me to find a place where we as a family can come come and uh, uh, and enjoy living uh, outside of football as well Matt Kennedy five eyewitness sports Timu what are you most looking forward to about life in the United States <laughs> yeah, it's hard hard to say uh, scoring lots of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks. Yeah, that's that's for sure. Obviously, I want to help the team to achieve the, what 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 are the targets for 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 the team, and you know, of course, I, I want to see NBA. That's <laughs> something I've uh, always dreamed of. So so hopefully, I can go and see see a couple of games, and uh, and yeah, I will see see how it goes. But I'm really excited to 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 come and live here. <laughs> This is for Adrian. Adrian, obviously with designated players at striker, it's been kind of a checkered history with the club and that's at that spot. What have you learned from those past experiences to inform and help with Timu now? Well, I, th I think Timu briefly touched on it there. This is not something that's happened in the last few months. You know, when we realized that, and I mentioned this a few weeks ago, not since Christian Ramirez, have I've, we had a natural box player, I don't think. The rest have been a little bit different. It's been pretty evident this year with the amount of opportunities that we've created. We've been lacking somebody who could take a high percentage of them opportunities that we created. You know, we had a few games ago where we had 58 efforts at goal in three games. Don't want to put pressure on him, but I think he'd have scored a fair few of them opportunities. And that's what we've been lacking. Um, as you say, we haven't got it right. I believe that if we can continue to create the opportunities that we've done this season, then we've got the man, you've just seen some of the video here, at the highest level, who can uh, put a few of them opportunities away. Oldie saying in football, goals change games. That's why they go for the most money and get paid the most money. That um, if they take a good opportunities and they take them opportunities and create them, it makes a big, big difference to the team. Building off of that then, um, was there something important about bringing in a player who's an experienced goal store, scorer rather than, you know, recently there have been more developmental players, young players, who there's some time for them to ease into it, but with Reynoso coming back as well, getting someone who can immediately come in and contribute? Yeah, I think one of the things that you know is that with goal scorers, that they have a pedigree. You know, the one and two is generally the gold standard. Timos is virtually one and two throughout his career, whatever level he's played at. So I don't see any reason that coming to MLS, that doesn't change, especially in the team that we've got at the moment. You know, we've, as I say, we've created an awful lot of opportunities this year. I feel as though Bongi's getting better every week. Ray's come back now, which will be a big plus for Timu. You know, Sang Bin's coming out. I feel as though Mender and Sang Bin have started to look as, a little bit like what we thought they were going to be. It's taken a while, for, certainly for Mender, but we feel as though there's some progress there. But no, I just think that at this moment in time, this is exactly what this group of players need. We need somebody who can consistently be in the right spots. If we create them opportunities, then he will take them. Just a quick follow-up for Timo. Have you had a chance to talk to Emmanuel yet? And do you have a sense of how you two will be playing uh, towards the goal? Yeah, uh, obviously I've heard loads of good about him. Uh, uh, obviously Robin has been praising him a lot. And uh, yeah, I, 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 actually I can speak some kind of Spanish, so I had a, had a chat with him today and I'm really looking forward to play with him. And I uh, hope he, he, he can create me uh, many chances so I can, I can score some goals. This could be for Adrian and or Mark. Um, when you're looking at Puki, obviously you want to bring in a good player. Like, but looking at the person, what stood out in that process of getting to know him you know, before actually getting the deal done? Yeah, so I'll, I'll take that one. Um, I mean, the, the biggest thing is the goal scoring. But, you know, when we look at 
what the the right fit is for the club. There's a lot of other factors, and you know, I think I think team was the the perfect fit in all of those other things as well. On the soccer side, I think he's he's got a lot more to him than just goals. He's got um, good hold up play. You know, he's he can do a lot more. He can bring others into it. Obviously, his primary objective is to score goals, but he's a really good soccer player. So he can combine with Ray. He can combine with others on the field. Uh, his last couple games with Finland, he, he got a couple of assists as well. So he's certainly got more to his game than just goals. Um, but that's the main reason he's here is, is to score goals. I think we've, we've discussed that. In terms of the, the off-field stuff, you know, we really pride ourselves in bringing in good people, you know, hardworking people, um, players that are going to work defensively and do all the other little things. So um, we, we can see that on the, on the video. We can see that when we watch games. We also had a, a Zoom call with um, Adrian and myself. And... You know, you get to know someone, and we, we really pride ourselves in that in terms of getting to know the player so he's the right fit when he gets here. And everything, everything was, you know, was, was perfect, really. I think he's, he's the perfect fit on the field, and he's a fantastic fit off the field. We also we spoke to an awful lot of people, not only about the football. We could see that. You've seen that over the last 10 years or so. But the people at Norwich City, one of the, the assistant technical director there is a really good friend of mine, somebody I played with. The fact that they wanted to keep him speaks volumes when they've had him for the previous five years. So, you know, that was a big plus for us. We spoke to the national team manager, Mark, who couldn't speak highly enough of him, not only as a player, but more importantly, a guy that you get every single day, which is really important. Somebody who comes into the football club and actually brings something every single day. And, um, you know, as I said, that's been, it's been evident from the very first time that we spoke about him. Timu, do you have a set amount of goals you want to score this season, or do you just want to come in and help the team succeed right away? <laughs> said 30 to me. Oh, there you go. Actually, never, never in my career, I never set any target, like how many goals I would want to do in, a, in, a, in that season. I just, yeah, I know that's, that's mostly my job is to score goals, but I do it for, to, to help the team to achieve their, their, their targets. If, if, if we do... What we want to do as a team, I will be happy in the end of the season. Doesn't matter how many goals I've done. Timo, on your goal scoring record, we saw it at a, at a level in the championship and at a level in the Premier League. And then last year, maybe it wasn't as what it was previously in the championship. What do you attribute that to? Yeah, it was a hard season overall for, for me and for the team as well. Uh, I think if you compare the last Two seasons in the championship, we did create a lot, lot more chances, and, and and I end up quite often in the places where I can't score, where I had to do the last pass or stuff, stuff like that. And but yeah, it was not a not a great season from me or, or the team. So so um, yeah, happy that I had had some some holiday and got my my head out of out of football, not thinking about any 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 of that. And uh, and I'm I feel I'm ready to ready to start again and. And hopefully score score many goals. Mark, is it fair to say that this is the biggest signing in club history? I, I think it is. I mean, obviously, um, financially, Emmanuel Reynoso was a was a, a big deal as well. Um, but in terms of you know the the stature of the player, the experience of the player, we, you know, we think it is. We think we have a, a world class elite goal scorer. So yeah, I would say it's the biggest sign the club's had. Uh, Puki, is there any significance in number 22 for you? Yeah, I had a great, uh, great time in uh, in Norwich with it, and and it's it's my wife's birthday, so that's uh, that's I, I in Norwich I had like couple numbers to pick, which one I, I took, and that was the only only thing that had any meaning for me, and uh, I felt like uh, it's kind of my number now, and I'm thanks to was it Dev, Devin Devin had it before, so yeah. he. He gave it to me, so I'm really grateful for that. And uh, and uh, but yeah, yeah, that's the that's behind behind the number. Yeah. Uh, in in other uh, U.S. sports, if if a player comes in and, and pushes a number, a player off a number, there's some sort of <laughs> gift or compensation. Did Devin just give it up to you? <laughs> I think he just gave it up up to me. But yeah, uh, maybe I need to need to figure out something uh, to to give it. He said if I if I just keep scoring goals, uh, he'll be happy happy to, to pass that to me. Cut us some slack, he's young. Yeah. Uh, when you look at a club like Norwich, there's that community aspect to it. There's that feeling of camaraderie of fans having 
kind of an outsized impact on the team. Obviously, you see some fans are already here in attendance that will be cheering loudly tomorrow against Austin. Uh, how important is it to you to be in that sort of an environment where it feels closer to a community maybe than just like a we're an entertainment event in town? Yeah, obviously, like in, in Norwich is as well similar. There's a uh, feels like a kind of family club. It's the same feeling I've, I've got, got from here. And, uh, and yeah, it's important. I've heard many, many good things about the atmosphere here, here in games. I'm really looking forward to, to, to experience that myself. And yeah, I think it's, it's easier, easier to play in that kind of environment, especially for me. Thanks for that, Jeff. And as the PR guy, I may go against my instincts, but is there anyone from the Wonderwall that has a question for, for Timu? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Robin shared to, with us what Sizu, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, means to him. <laughs> Could you share what it means to you? <laughs> oh, that's a hard one. Uh, kind of never give up attitude. That's, uh, that's probably how, how I would, I would uh, uh, think that word. And yeah, it's something we Finns do, so, yeah. What is it? Sisu? Sisu, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll check that, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Time for a few more for uh, the three members of the on stage. Timo, did you ever imagine just growing up in the sport and that you would end up in the MLS and, and in this situation? Yeah, I kind of, like I said, I've always, not always, but like, over the last years, I always thought that it would be a great experience for me and my family to come and play in MLS. And uh, but yeah, when you play playing in England, uh, it was not something I, I thought about all the time. But I always felt like it could be an option and, and good good experience and challenge for me. There was a Timo. There was a video clip of of you a couple of years ago talking about Robin and wanting to get him over to England. <laughs> uh, did that get any any traction? And when did it kind of flip that, that you would come here, or he was trying to recruit you here? I don't think it, there was anything uh, <laughs> ever behind it. Uh, but yeah, I think that just tells that I, I really enjoy playing with him, and, and it's been uh, on national team. I've really liked to play with him, and. Uh, He's, uh, he, he knows me, how I play, so I, I know he will uh, try to find me, find me. And uh, I don't know when he changed, but yeah, yeah, like I said, he was a huge part of me, me being here now, for sure. Timu, there's a lot of people who live in Minnesota from, that are Finnish. Was that, did that factor into your decision to come here at all? Not really. It's, I think it's a cool thing, but it was not something uh, something I would like uh, would think about when when deciding where 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 I'm gonna play. But I think it's uh, it's nice that the, the Minnesota has history with Finns before, and, and there's been many many especially ice hockey players as well from Finland. So so happy to happy to be here as a fin Finnish player. Any more questions for the group on stage? Right, last one from Andy here. Uh, there's been a lot of people in Minnesota saying "pookie party." <laughs> tell, me, tell me about that and kind of how you embrace that. Yeah, I don't know when it started. I think it started in in Denmark, uh, and it just I have nothing to do with it. It's just uh, I think it's just my name. It rhymes good with the party, so uh, so yeah, I think it just means goals and and good good feeling in games, and and hopefully I can help and uh, create some pookie party here as well. And Adrian, you said Timu wanted to sing a song before we were down here? No, okay, sorry. Yeah. He's got that to call. He's got that to call. All right, we'll, uh, we'll welcome the three gentlemen up front for a photo up here now. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>